It seems the world that once feared ghosts in the sky is now engineering them with surgical precision. Not because they're beautiful, though they look like something Leonardo da Vinci might have sketched after a week of no sleep and too much Red Bull, but because the sky no longer belongs to those who fly in it. It belongs to those who calculate, scan, simulate, and control it without a single pilot in the cockpit. And what's most striking, the faces in this war are fewer than the accountability held by those who design it. Today's air power doesn't look like a plane, it looks like something misplaced between DARPA and Kubrick. And that's when it hits you. This isn't about aerodynamics, it's about proving you can disappear before anyone even knows you're there. This latest innovation isn't about flight, it's about absence. Absence on radar, absence in reports, absence from the threshold of what we're still allowed to fear. That's why it arrives not with fanfare, but with dry lines buried in classified documents. Um, drones can be very precise, very accurate. They can hit the target if you have the right information about that target. But as you can see, the name is already known, Fury. And now it's clear. The silence around it isn't caution, it's confidence. And you know what's most unsettling? This story isn't the beginning, it's already a memory of something that happened without witnesses.